I was so energized in respect to the dean. I mean, I couldn't wait. After, I didn't know much, but I couldn't wait to relate this Islam to other people. I had, matter of fact, I, I, my whole, I had my whole, almost my whole uh, uh, school, my martial arts school, had taken Shahada. And yeah, yeah, and I had, we had over maybe almost close to 100 people making Salah. And I didn't know much about it, but it was because the way I felt about it. I was so wrapped up in the Quran. You know, it was you know, because I I love to read. I mean, I come out of I come out of an environment where reading was essential, and uh, and 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 also in my schooling, reading reading, writing, and arithmetic was one of the essential parts of education. I used to love to read because I used to read wide before I was Muslim. You know, we used to have to write book reports. We used to get stars. I used to get stars across the paper because I used to read and then write book reports. And then when I came to the Quran, the Quran was a book that I couldn't, I, I, I'm all, to this very day, I'm fascinated by it. You know, I'm excited even just looking at the uh, Musab. I'm that's that's the way I am. That's what the love that I have for the because that's the way the word is. So that's exciting. That's how exciting that I was about becoming Muslim. You know, I felt, you know, people like they talk about feel, feeling spiritual, but in a real sense it's not it's not really spiritual because it's not based on the proper belief is is really hysteria. Like in the Christian church, there's a lot of sensationalized uh, uh, rituals. You know, the preacher stirs people up and they shout and they drink and they jump up and things of that nature. But that's not that's not. And they believe it's spiritual, but that's not spiritual. That's just frenzy. That's just being in a frenzy. That's just a psychological. You know, a psychological prompting up and rousing, you know, of, of people's emotion. But in Islam, you really feel a spiritual vibe. You know, from inside, from your mind, from your heart. Because you, when you read, when you, especially when you're first reading about the Quran and you're reading the words of Allah and, and how those words jump out at you and what Allah is saying, there's things that I didn't even really understand as of yet. But because of a, being a Muslim, Allah subhanahu opens up that mind that opened that understanding about Islam and so forth and so that's that's the attachment and then reading about the message of Allah now before I really got into the message of Allah I really was more into the Quran later on because you know when I was coming up when I was coming up in Islam in the, in the 70s we didn't have that much literature you know there was like the books they have today we 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 had less than that in the beginning it was just the Quran and and pages of hadith that's you know because Islam was fresh in 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 this particular period of time Islam was extremely new and like I said there was not too many Muslims and not too many masjids there's only one masjid and two masjids afterwards but but the literature was coming from overseas especially from Pakistan you know a lot of a lot of our literature were coming from Pakistan and we were getting the first Hadith came well, El Hadith. That's what they were called. They were like a three-volume set, you know, or two, two to three-volume set. But though, but you know, and we were excited about it. I mean, later on, as we got refined, we found that a lot of the, a lot of the hadiths in those hadiths were dai, was weak. But that's all we had during that time. We didn't think about what was weak, what was strong. We 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 just said, oh, we got hadiths and excited. The first major authentic uh, literature or hadith came was Muslim and it was a three volume set. Now we begin to really begin to understand Islam on a stronger, more stronger level. And then there were gobs of books like Maududi, you know, towards Islam, you know, he was one of the writers and there was other writers, you know, then even even though he's Ahmadi, there was Muhammad, Malauna Muhammad Ali who wrote the religion of Islam and so forth. So, so we you know, this this is when literature started to gradually pour in. Then there were teachers that were coming from overseas. Like I said, Hafiz Makbu, he was one of the major, but he was mainly, uh, he was Hafiz of Quran, so he mainly taught Quran. Then we started getting teachers. Now we had Suleiman Dau, Suleiman Dunya. Suleiman Dunya came out of... Um, Asad University, you know, and I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, he was from the Maliki Mahab, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, he he was a teacher, and he was at they had a masjid in 76th Street in Manhattan. That was a major 
that was a major funnel for education. And people, we used to swarm there. You know, that's when we learned Mubari Islam and Marifatul Islam and those particular series of studies, you know. And then Islam, educational wise, started to grow. You know, from that point, and then that's that's when Muslims began to understand Islam more and more. Now, one thing I can say about that period that I was in at that time, we had little knowledge, but we were we were tightly knitted. We were a tightly organized and or and, and a unified group. Not like today, and I have to say that like not today. Like today, we are splintered in so many areas of, of fractions. But then we had little knowledge but we were strong and unified. We have a lot of knowledge now, and we're divided. So you, you know, you, 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 make, you make sense out of that, inshallah. Inshallah. Your old friends and family acted, reacted, right. and your Muslims, right. well, three, two. Well, when I first became, and we say revert, because Islam is fitra, right? But when I reverted to Islam, uh, there was a struggle in the beginning with my parents. Uh, I didn't have that much problems with my siblings, you know, but with my parents in the beginning, right? Uh, there wasn't a major thing. It wasn't a major class. Yeah, uh, because one thing, one thing my parents did see, they saw the change in me. You know, I mean, look, I'm a, I was a young man growing up in, in this neighborhood, so I got involved in things that I shouldn't have. And uh, they were concerned more about that. But when I became Muslim, that all changed. And my, my whole lifestyle changed. My, I, you know, I got married, I had children, and I was more concerned. But the, the thing, you know, I used to get in the clash with my parents because I had lost my apartment and I wanted them having to bring my families and live with my mother and father at the time. And I had to live with them. So in the time I was making prayer and this and that. And my father kind of got disturbed about that. And, and uh, you know, he said, no, I don't want you making prayer in the house. I could, I had to disobey him as Allah said. You know, but I was respectful. I did it where he couldn't see it. You know, but I couldn't stop making prayer. I mean, that was, that was a given. The thing, and, and, and I used to get in clashes with them because it was about Jesus being the Son of God and so forth. And, you know, again, I was anxious to give that information. I was anxious to, to impart that positive understanding about what faith really is in terms of, in terms of uh, who Allah is. And that's one of the main things also that impressed upon me, the, the fact that the real fact of who Allah was and is, you know, I didn't have, I knew something, something wasn't there in, in terms of Christianity, there was something missing. I didn't believe that Jesus was God. I didn't, I didn't, it didn't dawn on me. It didn't really factor in about the Son of God, although it was said, I may say it, but, you know, I didn't say it in the sense that Jesus is the God. I just said it because of that, that's what's the theology, Christian theology. But my clash with my parents was that point. Now, what, what really calmed everything down with my father is that I knew the Bible. And, that was, and I had a heads up. I had a, I had a step ahead. I knew the Bible. I knew the, I read the Bible from cover to cover, constantly, frequently. So I knew. So Islam allowed me to pinpoint things in the Bible, you know, about, about the unity of God and how Jesus was not God and these kind of things. So I was able to sit down with my father one day. We were, and he opened, he opened up to me, he said, you know, and he brought, he was questioning me and I was bringing certain points, but I didn't bring everything from the Quran. I brought from the Quran through the Bible. And I used to get sit there and after that s session with my father, I had no more problems with him in it then. You know, we had, he respected what I did. He never, you know, he didn't question. He may not have agreed with it, but, he, but, but he, gave, he gave license to me doing it in that sense, in this household. And my relationship with him grew stronger, you know, in that sense. And he can understand, but he understand. Now, I had a cousin, too. I had a cousin because I sat down with my family. I did, hopefully, as, as, as Allah has instructed, after we become Muslim, go to your family. I did that. I sat down with my cousins with the Bible. And I, you know, and, and, I, had to, and I showed them and a lot of no arguments, no arguments about it. Um, one of my cousins allowed me to sit down with her daughter. Now, normally, Christians ain't going to allow you to. I sat down with her daughter because her daughter was interested in Islam. But they have, my family has so much respect for me, alhamdulillah, that they allow me to come into their house. So to this very day, 
I told you, I go to my family every Sunday as, as Dawah and as the and I sit down. Now, what I do now, because I'm, you know, the love for my family in terms of their health, because I'm into, I'm health conscious, and I'm into, you know, herbs and holistic things. So right, we have workshops every Sunday where, where I'm trying to uh, impress upon my family about their health. But there's doors that I ask a lot. I ask a lot of, to, to guide my family to Islam, however, whichever way that be. So I figured this may be way, one way Allah's fashioning me to do that. So what I do, I use their health thing as, as a vehicle to open up for Islam. 